In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon his last and beloved Mr. Muhammad, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all. The title of this episode is Muslims complain that Allah God does not make them victorious. So the episode will discuss a complaint made by many Muslims that they say the following that we pray, we fast, we do what Allah God Almighty commands us to do and yet we don't find that Allah God Almighty makes us victorious and we, f we find ourselves in our um, in the bad situation we find ourselves in so they complain and if we think about this complaint we see that they put the blame on Allah God Almighty that we uh, fast, we pray, we um, give charity and yet we find ourselves in a bad situation so the, if, if you think about it as if the, they are blaming Allah for this now Allah God Almighty gives us the answer and the reply for this complaint in the Quran in chapter 3 verse 160 which, which state if Allah God makes you victorious none can overcome you and if he forsakes you who is there after him that can make you victorious and in Allah God let believers put their trust so here Allah God Almighty gives us the reply for this uh, complaint by many Muslims that Allah says here if Allah makes you victorious then no no one can overcome you but if Allah forsake forsakes you then who can make you victorious now if you think about this we see that the reason that the majority of Muslims Allah does not make them victorious is that they let Allah God Almighty down they let him down and as a result Allah does not make them victorious now somebody might ask okay we do we fast we do we give charity and so forth so how um, did we let Allah God Almighty down now the answer is the following if we think about verse number 7 of chapter 47 of the Quran which states O you who believe if you make Allah God victorious then Allah God will make you victorious and make your foothold firm so if we think about this Quranic verse Allah states here that if you make Allah God victorious then he will make you victorious and make your foothold firm so we need so there is kind of uh, there is a problem in Muslims striving to make Allah God Almighty victorious because Allah promises that if you strive to make him victorious then Allah God will make you victorious so the problem arises that the Muslims they are not striving to make Allah God victorious so somebody might ask okay how can I make Allah God victorious the answer is also in the Noble Quran in chapter 47 verse 1 and 2 which state O you, o you enveloped in garments arise and warn now these verses they were revealed to Prophet Muhammad and Allah God Almighty instructs Prophet Muhammad here and teaches him his main goal in this life and his uh, main job in this life which is to strive to make the world created supreme so Allah is teaching, teaching us here that our goal in life our purpose as Muslims here is to make Allah God victorious that is your mission here that's your main job here that's why when you become a Muslim that's what's required of you so your job is to strive to make the world of creator supreme now we see that the foundation of the religion of Islam and you as a Muslim is to call people to the path of Allah God Almighty but we see that no uh, very few Muslims they do that calling people to the path of Allah God Almighty and as a result the majority of Muslims Allah does not make them victorious because they are not doing their main job in life now let me demonstrate this by giving the following example suppose that you are the head of a company and you employed someone to look at the for example the money transactions in the company and that person he did not do his job 
but he did 20 other jobs, for example, looking at production lines, helping other uh, employees. Now, the, and the company was in a bad, became in a bad state because of the, uh, this employee uh, not doing his job. Now, you as a head of this company, would you reward that person or punish him? Even though he did so many other jobs, obviously, you will punish him. You will fire him or uh, put uh, punishment on him because you hired him for a certain job. He didn't do that, regardless of how many other jobs he did. But the main job, he did not comply, he did not do it. Likewise, Allah God Almighty wants Muslims to call people to, to him and to strive to make the world creator supreme and to show people the Qur'an. If you don't do that, then you can expect punishment of Allah unto you. Even if you fast, you pray, you do so many other things, but the main job you did not fulfill. So you see, brothers and sisters, the reason that the, the majority of Muslims, Allah does not make them victorious, is because that they are not fulfilling the, the, their duty the responsibility and as a result of that they are getting punished the only way to solve this is to know what I'm saying and to strive to make the way the Creator Supreme now somebody might ask okay I'm convinced of this it makes sense it uh, explains the, uh, the situation of Muslims now okay how can I make Allah God Almighty Supreme in this day and age what is the way for this Allah God Almighty teaches us the answer in the Quran in chapter 96 verse 1 which states read in the name of your Lord who created read in the name of your Lord who created now this is the first verse that was revealed of the Quran read in the name of your Lord who created now how does this verse contain the way to make Allah victorious in this day and age now, if you think about this verse, Allah states here, read, meaning seek knowledge, read. And Allah teaches us the source of knowledge that He, that's acceptable in His sight. Allah teaches us the source of knowledge that we need to get our knowledge from. Read, seek knowledge, in the name of your Lord who created, meaning take knowledge from the book in which every information starts, in the name of Allah, in the name of the Lord who created. And the name of the Lord who created is Allah. That's the name of the Creator, Allah. So the verse becomes, read in the name of Allah, meaning seek knowledge from the book in which every information starts in the name of Allah. And the only book on the face of the earth in which every information starts in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, is the Quran. The only book on the face of the earth nowadays in which every information starts in the name of Allah the most compassionate, the most merciful, is the Qur'an. So here Allah teaches us that we need to seek our knowledge and take our knowledge from the Qur'an. Now, this has set implications. The first one is that since Allah wants us to take all our knowledge from the Qur'an, then the Qur'an must contain all branches of knowledge. And we see that, that the Qur'an contains all the branches of knowledge, physics, chemistry, jurisprudence, engineering, cosmology, everything, as shown in my website. Also, this, uh, also uh, the fact that we need to take our knowledge from the Qur'an uh, implies that the Qur'an should contain the best way to derive knowledge and to apply it. So the Qur'an should contain the best way to, apply, to learn knowledge and to apply it, and that we will find as well in the Qur'an. Also, this implies that the Qur'an should contain the best terminology to describe our knowledge and we find this in the Quran as well and this is brothers and sisters what I called the miracle of knowledge of the Quran I call this the miracle of knowledge of the Quran now this miracle of knowledge if you go to my website you will find it and if you learn this how is this a way the way to make Allah victorious in this day and age firstly if you show people that the Qur'an contains all the branches of knowledge, then this is a clear sign, it's clear proof that the Qur'an is from Allah God Almighty. Because the only one who can encompass all the branches of knowledge is the Creator. 
no human, regardless of how clever he is, can encompass all Bashar's knowledge. Secondly, you as a believer, you would be the teacher of others and not the one on the receiving end. You would have honor and dignity. And the stranger to religion would love that. And he would love to know this religion that makes you in that in this high state status. The third um, importance of this miracle of knowledge of the Quran is that the non-Muslims, they love knowledge. So when you, see, when you show them that you learn engineering, physics, and all other, other kinds of knowledge from the Qur'an, he would be attracted to the Qur'an, he would be attracted to the book. And that would be a way for him to see the guidance of Allah in the Qur'an and to come closer to the Almighty and to, and to follow Islam and the Qur'an. So you see this is how this miracle of knowledge of the Qur'an, how it's the way in this day and age to make Allah victorious. And if you go to my website, I will show you the address in a minute. Um, if you go to my website and learn this miracle of knowledge and share it with others, you will see how Allah Almighty will change your life and will remove fear from your heart and will make you victorious. Because Allah promises, if you make him victorious, he will make you victorious. Now, okay, let me give examples how we can, how we can apply this. Suppose that you are a doctor. You can learn the miracle of knowledge in the field of medicine from the Quran and show how it's superior to the knowledge of people in medicine nowadays. Um, for, for, same applies for engineer. You can show the superiority of the Quran, the field of engineering, to the engineering sciences found today. The same applies to jurisprudence and so forth. And if you, for example, you are a university student or a school student, then you can copy CDs, you can design websites showing this miracle, you can, uh, you can copy pamphlets, you can do that. So these are just ways, examples of some ways to make Allah victorious. And as I said, if you do that, then Allah promises that He will make you victorious and He will change the situation of Muslims. And will make the believers the teacher of others and not the one on the receiving end. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon you all.